I installed Kali Linux on one of my Android phone with the help of Termux. And while I was using it, I got this. The connection closed unexpectedly. So I simply clicked on OK. And when I opened Termux, I see this. Signal line process completed. If you are running on Android 11 or greater version, you will also face this problem while running a VNC server in your Termux application or any other excessive CPU consuming task. And this is because of the Phantom Process Killer. So what is Phantom Process Killer and how you can fix this problem? Phantom processes are the processes started by application. For example, if I am running Termux, Termux is my main application and the process that is VNC server started by Termux is a phantom process. So in Android 11 and greater versions, phantom process killer was secretly introduced. This phantom process killer automatically kills the phantom processes started by any app if it exceeds the default maximum value of 32 phantom processes. And this default value 32 is not just for any app, it is for the all apps combined. If there are more than 32 phantom processes running or any phantom process is using excessive CPU, phantom process killer will automatically kill it. So to fix our problem, all we have to do is to disable this phantom process killer. We will be using ADB to do this. And I will show you a way in which you don't even need a PC to run these ADB commands that I'm going to just show you. All you have to do is to open your Tamax application and follow all the instructions that I tell you. So let's disable the phantom process killer. The first step will be to enable USB debugging. So for that, what you have to do is to simply get inside your settings. And in your settings, go to your about phone and then tap on your build number multiple times so that you become a developer. After this, if asked for password, enter your lock screen password to enable developer options. And now you are a developer. Now simply go back and search for developer options. You can simply search on the search bar that is developer options and then click on it. Now here scroll down and enable USB debugging. Click on OK. After that enable wireless debugging too and make sure you are connected to any Wi-Fi network and click on allow USB debugging on that network. Now if you will click on wireless debugging you will see IP address and port and then the option to pair with device. So what you have to do is to click on this pair device with pairing code and then you will see your pairing code and the IP address. Now all you have to do is to open your Termux application. So this is my Termux application. The first command will be to update the list of packages. So simply type apt update and make sure you are connected to the internet. After the list of packages are updated what you have to do is to simply install android tools in your Termux. For that type apt install android dash tools and then hit enter. As you can see here, I have already installed Android tools in my Termux application. To confirm that you have successfully installed Android tools, simply type adb. If you get something like this instead of command not found, that means you have successfully installed Android tools. Now that we have installed Android tools, it's time to connect to our phone using wireless debugging with the help of adb. So if I will simply copy paste this IP address and port and if I will do adb connect, I will get failed to connect. So what we have to do, we need to use the adb pair option. And here your IP address and then the port that you will get after clicking on this pair device with pairing code. Now this is very important step or else you won't be able to connect to your device. First, you need to enter your IP address and port and if I will enter my Wi-Fi pairing code, you will see that I get the error, failed, unable to start pairing client. And I don't know why we get this but the very simple solution is to open your settings application in split screen mode while pairing and then open your Termux, both in split screen mode. So this is my wireless debugging and Termux in split screen mode. Here click on pair device with pairing code and then do this adb pair command and your port. For me right now it is 
five two seven and then i will hit enter now i need to enter my pairing code that is nine eight five one eight three and as you can see here successfully paired to the device ip address so you need to pair with your device in split screen mode or else it won't work now that we have paired it simply copy paste the ip address and then use our command that is adb connect and then the ip address and port of our wireless debugging so i will simply copy paste it here and now if i will hit enter as you can see here connected to 192.168.43 and so on you can also see it in your notification that wireless debugging connected now you can simply type adb shell to get your adb shell but we are not going to use it so i will simply type exit to exit from adb shell now i have provided link in comment section from where you can access this forum in my discord channel from here what you have to do is to simply copy paste this adb commands in your termux so i will simply copy paste the first command what this command will do is that it will save our changes after the reboot so that our changes won't be reset even after the reboot and now i will simply copy paste the next command the next command will change the default max phantom processes to this value instead of 32. So I will simply copy it and then paste it in my termux. Now the last command. So I will go back to that forum and then I will copy paste this last command. This command will disable the phantom process killer. If you are running on Android 11, you may see the issue while running this command because in Android 11, there is no such settings like enable or disable phantom process. So you cannot do this. You can only set the maximum default processes. So after you enter these three commands, you are good to go. Now you can open your VNC server and you won't get that unexpectedly closed or signal line process completed error. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.